To all of my fellow graduates, congratulations. Let me begin with a quick disclaimer. No, I will not be talking about COVID-19, except maybe a little at the end. It seems as if all anyone has been able to talk about for the past three months is the coronavirus. So I really don't think I need to cover that topic in what little time I have. Even though we are all undoubtedly unique, one thing that we will now all have in common is the fact that we did it. We faced each and every challenge that our 12 years of schooling had confronted us with and ended up victorious as a result of our brave efforts. Yes, I said what I said, brave. What an accomplishment. I am proud of each and every one of you. Without further ado, I'm going to get right to it. Confidence, determination, teamwork, individuality, and gratitude. I know, these are some serious words, but the truth is, the ability to accept and embrace these five core values is essential to success. I know that you all have your own five words that you consider to be undefeatable and that they are probably different from mine, but I am not you, so I'll continue to elaborate on what I do know. Success is often accompanied by decisions, but I feel fairly confident in saying that the most important decision that we have all had to make or are still making, which is perfectly okay, would be that of concerning our futures, and our successes give us the power to choose. But doubt typically follows success as well. Early in my junior year, I found my dream school, Middlebury College. Ever since I toured that school, I knew that it was the right place for me. And once I got my letter of acceptance, I was beyond thrilled because I did it. But there was a time after this feat that I had begun to doubt my decision. So many of the people that I had told about my victory thought that I had just settled that I should have applied to an Ivy League school or Stanford because I was valedictorian and, well, aren't all valedictorians supposed to apply to those schools? The point that I'm trying to make is that for just a moment, I let the expectations of other people surpass the importance of my own standards. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't let what others have to say, whether it be born from good or ill intentions, poison your mind with self-doubt and regret. Stay true to yourself. After all, nobody knows you better than you. Have faith in your decisions and trust your instincts, but most importantly, stay confident. Another thing that high school has taught me is that life is only what we make of it. Nobody is going to get up and live your life for you. Seize every opportunity that is presented to you and hope that more opportunities are coming your way. I'm sure that they are. Every life is different and everyone has a different big picture. These pictures are cracked and complicated like a jigsaw puzzle, but like our common household pastime, we continue to try and choose the right pieces to fit together with clarity and completion as an incentive to drive us. Keep trying different pieces and find the ones that work for each one of you. Keep trying and stay determined. We each have the potential to be a superhero. We each have superpowers unique to us, something different to bring to the table. Diversity is so important, whether it be diversity of heritage, thought, feeling, diversity of strengths and weaknesses. But what is important to remember is how we use these differences to benefit the common good of society. I am a huge fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I think of it like the Avengers. Not one hero can complete the job or the mission without the others. While it is important to be independent, it is also important to recognize strength and unity. In order to achieve greatness, we must be willing to share it. Value teamwork. Well, now that I've talked about teamwork, let me completely shift gears and talk about the importance of embracing individuality. We are all going to remember high school in different ways and for different reasons. This is our day, not just my day. So I thought that you all deserve to have your voices heard too. After asking some of you, what will you remember most from your high school career? I realized that high school had impacted us in a variety of ways. Specific opportunities had resonated most with some of us, such as internships or athletics while other people were thankful for the relationships they had formed with their friends or teachers. Some students even said that the chance to improve through growth, adjustment, or experience was the aspect of high school that benefited them most. There was no right answer to this question, only the guarantee that each answer would be unique, that each answer would be special, and that each answer would make me a little wiser, provide a perspective I had not considered before. After all, the best way to learn is from each other. 
But this only demonstrates the importance of diverse thought in times of reflection. What about during times of uncertainty? Not just now, during a global pandemic, but throughout life. Our future is unknown. So I also asked my peers, what inspires you most? And every single person I asked had a different answer. Passion, people, desire, dance, memories, mom, friends, faithfulness, risk, lacrosse, success, nature, glory, emotions, future. The truth is, each and every one of us gets out of bed for different reasons in the morning. And these things, these people and ideas, they are all perfect inspiration, but each one of us must also find the courage to be our own inspiration, whatever that means for you. Learn to trust yourself, learn to hold your ground, and learn how to fuel that flame burning within you, even though you must also learn to tame it. Just remember to be yourself. Let's not forget about gratitude, and I cannot leave this podium without expressing mine. Thank you to all of our local first responders, or to anyone who has continued to work to fight the virus and to help our community. But also, thank you to all the faculty at CHS. Without you all, I know that I, along with my peers, would not have reached the success of graduation today. The heart that you put into your work every day inspires many of us, and it impacts our community, in perhaps the most positive of ways. You guys rock. I would like to give a special thanks to the amazing foreign language department, which has provided me with numerous opportunities and has led me to discover my passion for foreign cultures and languages. I would like to thank Principal Cruiser, as well as the rest of our administration for the amount of hard work they have dedicated to improve our high school experience during both easy and difficult times. I would like to thank my coaches for helping me through my athletic career, through the successes and defeats, and for always believing in me. I would like to thank all of my friends and teammates for all of the amazing memories that I will forever treasure and for leading me to become a better and stronger person. And of course, I would like to thank my wonderful parents for supporting me through all of my crazy endeavors and for reminding me that the limit truly is the stars. Thank you all for your attention. I can't wait to see what this class has in store for its future and I'm confident that our future will be a great one too. Well, congratulations again to the class of 2020. This is not goodbye, it's see you later.